Hey everybody, thank you for tuning back into Albatross Barbecue. Today on the menu is brisket beans. So I'm going to show you how to use some of your leftover brisket, put it into a beautiful dish, smoke it again for some additional flavour, and enjoy an absolutely delicious meal. Stay tuned, and thank you again for watching. As always, let's start with the ingredients. So we have some baked beans, some kidney beans, some yellow mustard, leftover chopped brisket. We've got some brown sugar, tomato paste. We've got some chopped jalapenos, barbecue sauce, onions, and at the end, we're gonna throw in a can of tomatoes. And before we get started, as always, let's prepare our smoker, turn it on, get some smoke coming through, and turn it up to 107 degrees Celsius, or 225 Fahrenheit. First thing we're going to want to do is soak up our onions. So grab yourself your skillet. You don't have to do this on the barbecue. You can do it inside if you'd prefer. I like cooking outside though. Grab yourself some oil. Start warming it up. And then throw yourself in your red onions or your brown onions. Entirely up to you what you want to use. Just give them a stir and get that oil throughout the onions. Once they're starting to sizzle, grab your brown sugar. Start caramelizing those onions just stir it all in. Once the sugar is turned into liquid, add your jalapenos and again give it a good stir. Once your onions are almost cooked, it really is as simple as just adding all the other ingredients into the skillet. So you've got your baked beans, your kidney beans, then you've got your barbecue sauce, your tomato paste, your yellow mustard, and then of course you've got your chopped brisket, followed by a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Give that a stir, and as you can see, it's pretty thick at this point. This is why at the end, I like to add a can of tomatoes. And that's all the hard work done. All you need to do now is put your skillet into the smoker, just leave it alone for 60 minutes. After an hour, just give it a quick stir. As you can see here, you're starting to get some nice smoke color. Another 16 minutes in the smoker, and then it's ready for eating. Okay, so after two hours, these brisket beans are done. So a quick recap. We prepared the beans, with the onions, mixed it all together with all the ingredients, put them on the smoker at 107 degrees Celsius or 225 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. We gave it a little stir halfway through just so we can get as much smoke in us through it as we can. And now she's good to go. We're gonna serve these on some baked potatoes. But before I do that, let's give this a try on its own and see how it tastes. Because it smells amazing. Mm. And that's lovely. I didn't put any spices in there because I've got plenty of salt, pepper, thyme, garlic on, on the brisket which I cooked the other day. I can really taste the smokiness from the competition pellets that I use. A little bit of spice there as well from the jalapenos. This is absolutely beautiful. You don't have to put it on baked potatoes, you can put it on rice. It's entirely up to you. You could almost do it as a little nachos type thing, but 
Honestly, it's a great way to use your brisket up. Thank you so much for watching, give it a go, good luck, and we'll see you again in the next one. These also make an excellent side dish. They're super easy and super tasty. Thank you for watching again, guys. Please subscribe for more delicious videos over the next few months. See ya.